you you got to understand that, that you're going to get a lot of flack because of this video. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. Though. Hey, Grumpy, how you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, dead leader. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great also. So I was just feeling. Are we going to sing some ABCs? Yeah, today we're going to sing a little song. <laughs> a is for a, a poa. Is a poa a ship? I, I thought. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm just a waiting for the for happy birthday. B is for. Banu. Banu. Damn it. You got it to me faster than I did. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> today uh, I wanted to kind of go through what I've seen. Because I've. Okay, I really want to know what order the ships are going to come out in and they're never going to tell us directly kind of what order ships are going to come out in. But, you know, I've got a little bit of expertise in game sort of production and, you know, and, and, and how you kind of have to lay out the sort of the future of what things your game needs to complete, what things are in the way of stuff. So I think like in my producer mind, I'm like, this makes sense of trying to how to realize what order of ships they might release. Um, and but I, I'm relatively new to the game. I only got into it sort of with the past year. But you've got far more uh, knowledge on you know the history and that of uh, Star Citizen. So I really wanted to ha have you on to talk to you about what you think about you know what order ships going to come out in and stuff. Because I think that like so I've got you know name at the top there, the name of it, the manufacturer, the role, the mm. SU. That's all kind of useless. But then these three things here is where it starts being like these are the things that really dictate in my mind what is stopping them from being like released. So there's tech block one. So this is like, you know, tractor beams, um, mm -hmm. uh, shops, like, you know, for the Benu merchant man, modularity, like modularity is going to stop the base retaliator coming out kind of thing and the galaxy. Mm -hmm. And then tech block two, if it has like multiple um, pieces of technology that they're kind of waiting to have on it. Cause you know, that, that'll let us sort of see at a glance if we think it'll, um, you know, take even longer and then tech block three, like, you know, potentially. And then I've got the, this one is pair with updates, which is like, are they likely to have it in a block where they're going to say like, all right, well, well, as soon as we release into pyro, like, you know, then we will release this one because then, you know, you know, they will likely have, you know, meshing, which is going to be required for it. Or it'll be like that ship has more of a functionality when they've got into, you know, space travel. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. meshing is another one there. It's like, does it is meshing requ like required for it? Um, mass updates that uh, that category means like when they release that tech that they need for this ship, are they going to have to update a bunch of other ships that also are supposed to have that technology? Because that could mm -hmm. for them mean like you know a bunch of time. Um, you know, it's a bigger job than just that one ship, even and that one bit of technology. If they need to go through all of them to add, mm -hmm. and then obviously, uh, like you know, yeah, oh, unique art <laughs> load. So that's like you know, is it like an alien ship with you know lots of unique stuff in it? Um, you know, or is it something where they've got they've got like a design language which is pretty set out and they should understand? And then obviously, you know, the ship size. You know, is it large, medium, small? Like all those things. Sort of, uh, you know, mm. they said like capital is going to take like at least a year of development, or whatever. And the money is just there, I guess, for reference. It was there. It felt like it could be useful. So I, I thought we could go through and try and make this a little bit more clear. So my like starting mm -hmm. off straight away, like we know that they've got a few things that they've been working on, which are pretty much complete. Yeah, like Hull C, I've heard is pretty much likely to come out when 3.18 drops, right? Like, all soon. I mean, if you check the progress tracker, they did postpone him uh, a bit. Like, uh, they extended the progress a bit. But uh, it is basically almost done. I, I think that they're going to wait to pair it up with the uh, tractor beams, honestly. Yeah. Well, well I, was... I see it being released with the SRV. So not in 3.18, but maybe like 3.19 or 3.18.123, whatever. Right. and the San Tokiai, that's just another fighter, yeah? Like, yeah. they've been releasing things like that. I feel like that's one where they've been really kind of quiet about it, but there's nothing sort of stopping them from releasing it. Like, I feel like they're waiting for maybe some sort yeah, it has of like event or something. Yeah, it has, like, four-size fours, and that's it. It's basically an oversized uh, Carl's Wall. Yeah. It's basically the, the, the same ship. Yeah. So, I guess it's... Uh, I know that they're working on it, so I guess, it's like, we're going to see it uh, pretty soon in the game. 
Yeah. So what, maybe what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll sort of talk about these in the order. These are like the, the order that I just kind of threw mm-hmm. them in at a glance. We'll kind of talk about them going down the list and then we'll look at making sort of changes because I think we might find a, some knowledge down here, which we'll point it out. Um, right. So, yeah, this, instead of go the SRV, which is just, that's pretty much just tractor beams, yeah? That's just an Argo tractor beam ship. Pretty much, but also, uh, from what I know, there should be another tech that uh, could hold it up uh, or could postpone it. Uh, they are working on, like, but, like, they can do something else, of course. Um, it's supposed to have, like, a, um, what's it called, a terminal uh, in the back or um, a screen in the back, and uh, it's supposed to, like, stream what you see uh, what, where the uh, tractor beam is. Right. So you should be able to see like the live feed, but you can also do that with like uh, whatever we have now with the the turrets. Yeah. It's basically a remote turret. Yeah. But uh, the initial idea was just to have like a screen. So I don't know. They're probably not going to wait for that. They're probably just going to give us a remote turret and that's it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I I feel like these grand vehicles here, the Ranger series, X1 series, and the G12 series, I kind of feel like, there's nothing stopping those. They're just like, they know that they have those in their pocket and they're just going to put them in between things to uh, make it feel yeah, like Yeah, they're more working stuff is on the X1. Out. Yeah. Yeah, they're working on the X1. I, I, I can see the X1 being the LTI token for, uh, for Invictus, for mm-hmm. example. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the Ranger and the G12. Series, well, well isn't in, with Invictus, would it be more military based? Because if it was more military based, the Ranger series is probably seen as more military. Yeah, but are they working on it? I've heard that the models were see done. The it was, I've heard that the, the models and everything for the Rangers were just done. And it was just a matter of bike physics, like having a physical bike, like how that's going to handle without it being all hovery, you know? Well, at least that was my okay, understanding. Yeah. But I don't have any proof of that. I'm, just, I'm currently like, searching for it. Like memory. Yeah, it's not. It's not on the progress tracker. Mm. So I still feel unless because. They do have like uh, two or three unannounced vehicles yeah. that they're gonna release, so it might be that I don't know. Well, see, I I, I have a feeling that because they said that they're gonna update the progress tracker at like the you know early next month. I got a feeling that like they know that heaps have changed and they're having these those meetings now. That's why we're not getting too many like patches when they're back at work because I feel like they're really figuring out now what is gonna happen this year, and they're gonna when they release this um the when they update it, I reckon it's going to be completely different from what we can see currently in my mind. Well, the G12 series, I haven't seen anything from those, but I, I, there's nothing technically in the way from them releasing that sort of stuff, you know, like it's mm-hmm. origin is just, they're just going to make You're it missing the links. Are you missing the, yeah, the I, links? Yeah, I, I haven't got that on there, but that's because you can't buy the links, right? Isn't the link something that just comes with, um, it's like a, it comes with the, what do you call it? Because there's no page on the rollers. Um, yeah, the constellation. Uh, there's no Aquila. page. So links was, uh, links was teased uh, with the Pioneer. Actually, it wasn't the Aquila. Mm. So you could see it like uh, in a picture, and people asked like, "What is this?" And uh, yeah, in, in the end, uh, they they said like on the forums that is the RSI links, and that was like I don't know five or six or maybe even more years ago and uh yeah it's currently on the progress tracker and it's due to be finished uh let me see vehicle uh give me a second i just lost it so vehicle concept art and vehicle content eu is going to finish it on march Mm. so yeah it could be just the concept but also it could be vehicle because it's like the eu uh vehicle content team is working on it so it could be that they're going to actually release it uh, during uh, Invictus. That, yeah, that might actually be. That would make sense, actually, Invictus. But... All right. Well, we'll see. Um, then, okay, this is the thing that when I was, I was actually angry at myself when I wrote these ones on here. The Spirit A1 and C1, I put them next here because I realized, like, damn it, like, they probably fucking are trying to release like a recently new concept ship like before they would any of these other ones down here like because they all yeah. get serious when they get down here you know oh yeah there's tractor beams in that um, yeah i just corrected it 
Um, that was a bummer. I'll tell you what, like making this whole list, I was like really like jazzed and excited to make it initially when they had the idea. And then when I started putting them in an order about like <laughs> three quarters of the way through, I made myself really upset. <laughs> Because yeah. I was like looking at the reality of like the order that these things are going to come into and I had to make some like decisions of like, all right, well, you know, all these ones can't be done before Barry, all these ones can't be done before this. And then I like realized like, oh my God, like they really like did release their spirit ones purely because they uh, were going to have a gap in the release schedule, I feel like. Um, because there's so many capitals and stuff which are going to take like server meshing and that before they want to start pumping these massive ships in. Um yeah that it gets kind of weird around this point. I am not sure that they're going to... I mean, they might uh, release the C1 and the A1 this year. E1 is not going to come out this year, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I put that down with the but, because I reckon they're going to like do the actual passenger gameplay in a big thing. Yeah. So we might see the A1 and the C1, but you never know, because uh, they were working on the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the uh, Legionnaire. Do you, do, you, do you have it here? You don't have it yeah, here? Yeah, I got oh, yeah, you have it. on. Yeah. So uh, they were working on the Legionnaire, and then they just dropped it uh, after sales, basically, and uh, they started working on the A1 and the C1 and the E1, so on the Spirit series. And they might drop it again and do something else. But, I mean, you never know. Well, that's sick. They are on the progress tracker right now. The the Legionnaire and a bunch of, like, those odd ships that have really unique functionality, they're the ones that I I felt like they really would have pushed down as well. That's why I put the Legionnaire all the way down there and Pyro, because I'm like... Yeah, and he's hacking. It is a whole thing. I I feel like, yeah, hacking and all that sort of gameplay is all something that they haven't, like, really been showing us for ages. Yeah, at least... A year and a half now and also you need all the ships to be like dockable because you know currently i only have like two ships that, that you can dock and, to and that's it yeah and they're doing a bunch of like reworking on ships to move where all the docking collars are because they realize they're like impossible they're all like on the roof and they're like yeah we, we can't do that like <laughs> like that's not how ships work you can't like enter through the docking collar and just fall onto the ground once you like you know the gravity shifts um all right. Merchantman, I, I mean, you're really optimistic. Well, I mean, they've been they've done like the, all the white box and, and everything, yeah. Like, and that because they they were working on it, and then yeah, they said they had people that were working on the team like leave. But from my understanding, mm-hmm. like they've done a lot of the actual like physical like the animations for the ship, the actual like you know the the gray box is there. Um, it's just sort of like putting all that artwork and all the functionality sort of in it and they were like yeah but it's, into it they also time. stopped working on it so you never know like w- w- when they're going to continue well they stopped working on it but when you look at all the other ones here we don't the rest of these ones here not all of them do we even know if they've done like the gray boxing for so that's when you're like oh hold on like it's potentially it's still further along than a lot of the other I mean, ones the white box yeah they have they, they uh, showed us the polaris they showed us the uh, what's it called? It's the other thing. Well, the ben Polaris. What I, what I mean, I, I probably get the description stuff wrong, but, but the Polaris they've showed yeah. like you know that stuff that they showed us from it. That was like the um, like blocking how things are going to look like in a, on a three D environment. But the stuff for, that I've seen for the Merchant Man is like what the actual ship is. Like they've you know put the oh, yeah, yeah, basis yeah, yeah, of the yeah, thing yeah, in. Sure. But the stuff that we saw for the Polaris that was just like a, a rough sketch up of what it you know. Uh, like blocking out the space essentially like it still has to be made in like a separate program so that's why i was like merchant man in my mind other than the fact that it's got a really unique art load that i've got over here like a large art load i feel like they've i don't know like they've they've got it feels like it's when i was if i've been looking at it i'd say it was less of a project than starting a whole new other ship kind of thing yeah I don't know. I I I don't see them releasing any big ships in the near future. For example, I would like see them releasing the Expanse and then the uh, Spirit series and the Apollo series uh, before us seeing the Merchant Man and the Polaris, etc. The only thing that stopped me with having the Apollo series as high as that was that they need drones, and we don't have. I haven't seen shit about drones. 
Yeah. Like their, cool. their whole functionality is like they'll like the drones will go out and get the injured and bring them into the ship. Like and Yeah, if, but if, they can also release it without that. It wouldn't be the first ship that they released without that. True, but that is true. Yeah. True, true, that is true. But I mm, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll look at that as well, because drones are a big one. They're uh, that they come up quite a fair bit. Um and what they mean, what drones mean for like updates for other ships is means a lot too. Like we've got, you know, the uh, Redeemer and the Carrick all have drones. I'm sure there's like more like, and we don't even know what a lot of that functionality of those are going to be. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting. The, yeah, so it's the expanse. Let me, let, let me, let me just throw in uh, uh, like a weird one. Mm-hmm. Um, so they released the Drake cutter. Yeah. And we have the RSI um, Aurora. We have the Mustang. But most of the other manufacturers are missing the starter ships. And we know that like each year they release like four to five un- um, unannounced ships. Yeah. So maybe they're going to release, Crusader. I don't know, a Crusader starter ship. You see, Here's my thing with the whole starter ship thing. I know that they, there's like every year they usually release a new starter entry kind of ship. And I, I get that from a market perspective, but I tell you what is one of my pet peeves about when they release a ship that the only reason why they're saying, oh, but we're releasing this one is because that the, that ship manufacturer doesn't have one in that competitive like space yet. It's like, well, hold on. Like, the ship manufacturers are fake. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, of course. Of like, course. you know, with the uh, but, anyway, like, the 100i, mm-hmm. uh, the, the Nomad and the uh, 100i were released in 311, which was October 2020th. So, um, that was two years ago, three years ago, almost, mm-hmm. almost two years ago. So, uh, I, maybe they're going to release like Crusader Star ships. Why not? Crusader Star ship would I, make honestly, sense. Honestly, I, I, I would love to see more of them. I'm just, it upsets me when they like, because when they announced the Spirit Series and it was like, oh, they're releasing this, you know, a, as a, a competitor to like, you know, the, like the Cutlass the kind of size yeah. thing. It's like, well, hold on. Like, that's, yeah, that's all great for law's sake, the sake of law of what these like companies would be doing. But don't be going out of your way to add, <laughs> add new ships to like, for, to fill like roles that we don't actually have needs for in like you know, the real just game like, like while there's other ships that should be worked on you know what they're doing though right like yeah. uh if you like take a look at the hangar or uh the pledge store you will see that like up until two, 250 or 300 bucks you have a ship for every five bucks basically yeah so they're uh, making you upgrade like, they want you to yeah. upgrade to get another ship or they're going to give you like the C1. It's going to have two more SUs than the uh, Cuddy. And it's, it's going to fly better. It's going to be more maneuverable. But it's going to be bad in some other regard. And like, uh, compared all the to players the are always going to buy them as LTI tokens anyway. <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm. But like the next time it's on sale you're you're going to say, say oh well this is five more bucks than the cutty i can get two more su's i can fly better and i'm going to get that and i'm, I'm going to spend five bucks mm. I, I think the spirit is like a uh, hundred bucks like uh with the um concept price so it's the same price as the cutty but i i think that it's going to go to like a hundred and five bucks mm. yeah i've got the price over on the right Oh yeah, oh, 110. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, ten bucks uh, more than the cutting, cutting. Mm. already. Yeah, mm. yeah. All right. Well, let's keep let's keep looking on these other ones. We say yeah, we got the expanse with the refining one. Now that I is, can't wait for that. Yeah, that is pretty useful as just like a money maker, and it adds that extra depth to mining in general like the gameplay the whole loop of it like if you're just out there in the middle of space you know like being able to mm-hmm. work on your shit and like make money and stuff and you because it you know you're gonna do that but also it's a bigger if you do get busted it's more dramatic and a bigger risk like having all that <laughs> 
on board, yeah. but you can go out and sort of like, you know, do it in the middle of a belt that no one's going to find you in. So I think that'd exactly. be fun. Yeah. They'll probably mm -hmm. have a bit of a mining update around that time as well. Like, I reckon. Um, maybe. Because they're still, they're still uh, working on like cargo refactor stuff as well. So I feel like yeah, it's a good And they're also for it. working, they started working on the RSI, whatever it's going to be called, uh, the mining ship, like medium to large. The uh, Orion sized morning ship no no the orion is the capital ship all oh, right so right, right. Uh, uh, it was oh, like it was last year well, yeah, yeah the event where they yeah during the event yeah that's right that's so right. but yeah that one still needs like the refinery and the tractor beams uh and resource management i don't really think that it needs it but like it's gonna help yeah to have it i guess but mm. it, it really needs tractor beams because you gotta take those like crates and move them around and yeah, those uh, saddlebags. the saddlebags with it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, this next one is a hotly, this is a dramatic one. <laughs> the base retaliator. See, I find it yeah. fucking odd that they didn't just, it's because they promised that this was going to be the first one to get modularity, yeah? That's why we don't see it. Because otherwise mm -hmm. they would have just released it. Because that's super odd. Because to me, the retaliator is a really weird, like the bomber variant that we have is really, really weird. Because like, you can only really bomb <laughs> with it, but why would you need so many people? Like, it's got, I don't know, it has, like, it's so strong and has this functionality. It feels like it would just be better off as, like, a fighter or have some different use. Like, it feels better as a gunship in my mind. The idea of having it as a bomber feels like you've Especially got a with lot the, of extra uh, ship. Like, what is, like, 200,000 uh, HP that he has in the hull? Yeah. Like, yeah, a stupid I, amount of HP. When, yeah, when I was first, like, looking for... In my like, <laughs> in my like best daily flies video, which is again without blowing up. The reason I made that video is because I, I wanted a ship that could go to bunkers that wouldn't be trolled so easily. And so I was looking into like the ships that had good HP and good shield where you can't just troll it with a fucking Aurora or whatever. And I was coming mm -hmm. down to the Retaliator and the Redeemer because those both have like massive HP, massive shields. But then when it came to like, I was like looking at like, what can I do with either of those ships? Like if it was just me, you know, soloing ships that I shouldn't solo, you're much better off with a Redeemer because you can actually just, you know, shoot things than a Retaliator where you can just like, yeah, you can bomb stuff. But as a solo fly, that's all I can do. Where the Redeemer, I could literally set it to cruise like I'm doing like, bounty missions like cruise at a slow like speed up to like the target get out of the pilot ship go get in one of those like massive turrets and then as i'm flying by it i can like shoot them down then get out of the turret once they're dead get back in the pilot seat and then get out of orbit like super easily but with the retaliator you can't do shit like you're stuck yeah well yeah and like the base one is going to need resource management because uh without that you're not going to get modularity yeah 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 true oh. true true but also they said <laughs> it's gonna be the first one with modularity like yeah uh but also they said they need server meshing because the guys that are working on server meshing are supposed to work on modularity but also resource management but like it's uh, an endless loop I, I don't really trust that they really need server meshing for that but whatever i feel like they yeah that seems like a weird one to need like I, I, I don't understand why the like Network engineers are going to work on modularity, but sure, whatever. Mm. I can pull you up like uh, John Crew. Like it's a quote from John Crew that like he he actually said that the people that are supposed to work on modularity are working on server meshing like two years ago. <laughs> right. And th uh, last year he said they need resource management for modularity. So I don't fucking know. <sighs> yeah. I don't see, honestly, uh, I don't see it being released before the Galaxy. I would say really? that uh, that ship in the Galaxy. If they do that? A riot? Have you, that... have you <laughs> spoken to the community? <laughs> Who's going to riot? Right, right. There's always going to gonna a, just buy it. And that's you know, it. a Spectrum riot. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, some people are going to get banned and that's it. But uh, I'm saying, like, maybe they're going to release it with the Galaxy. So okay, maybe. everybody's happy, basically. Well, because it's just, I, from what I've seen of stuff, they've, they've stated, like, Retaliator will be the first ship properly to have modularity, like, installed. And then for them to, for them to then be like, Oof. and it's the Galaxy, the one we just, <laughs> we just <laughs> announced and going to pay for, and that's one's going to have it. It's like, fuck you. Like, I mean, because there's so many other ships that need modularity anyway. 
Yeah. yeah. It's not going to happen anytime soon, though. Like, with the Expanse, they announced it, I'm going to say, two years ago. I'm not sure uh, right now. But, uh, for example, I know that um, the Corsair was announced almost four years ago. Mm-hmm. And it just came out uh, mm-hmm. with the Vulture. They, they were announced at the same time. So, uh like that, that that's the issue you never know like they, they can announce something and maybe it's going to come out in six months maybe in a year and maybe it's going to be four years from now yeah that's the issue but yeah well, please, please continue yeah well i mean from here on this is where i just started really going by the you know going by descriptions and bits of data that i had like the whole b this one i was like all right well if the whole c is coming out that's way bigger than the whole you know, way, way bigger than yeah. like the whole C is way bigger than whole B. Whole B is only a medium si- sized ship. They've got all, they should have all the design aesthetic done by them. You know, and that like, yeah, like retractable, detractable thing. Like, you know, they would have, hopefully you would have thought that, you know, they would have sort of had that in the bag by this point. And then it's really just seems like a bit more of a copy paste job to get it done. So that's why I kind of slam that one in there. Like, Honestly, it, I, I don't uh, see a reason why it wouldn't be like, uh, why wouldn't the Hall B be released with the Hall C at the same time? But also, yeah. you, like, I don't know if they're even working on it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's because, as you said, it is basically a copy paste. Like, it's just going to be smaller. It's weird, though, to come out after the Hall C anyway. Hey, because it's like that, like, well, amount of SEU like, isn't even that great. It's like. But also in the lore, and for some reason, some people are really big uh, in, in that uh, department, and um, CAG is trying to, like, uh, give them uh, what they want. The Hall C is, like, the, mo- the most common ship in the universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So that's why it's getting released now. I mean, they already did the Hall C. I, I don't know if you know the story. The Hall C was already done, like... Six read, years ago, yeah, 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 but it was uh like too small inside. The interior was just too small, especially for the NPCs. Like if you want to have the NPC yeah, crew, they can't walk past uh, each other and stuff. Yeah, they yeah they were just like getting stuck in, in the corridors, etc. Et so they needed to like scale it up, and yeah, it took them this much, this long. <laughs> I think what, they I, just really did the whole I, thing. I reckon honestly. people have been sort of sleeping on the whole sea, to be honest. Like people like oh yeah, if people that know about it, know about it, whatever. But that fucking like four thousand six hundred eight SEU for like three hundred and fifty dollars is that's fucking crazy. Like we know it's like yes. sort of close to coming out. I like how it looks too. But also, hear me out. With the cargo refactor, once it's finished, how long do you think is gonna take you to load up the whole hall C? Mm, yeah. Well, I mean, like, the, the, wait, the whole... I, the, in the, the whole... perfect world, like, check this out. In the perfect world, if you go to a station and it has everything that, like, you can buy everything and fill up the whole hall C, it's going to take, like, four days to, to, to fill it up, basically. Right. Well, I mean, so, it's got to be, like, some... So it would be good, though, for, like, maybe, yeah, if you're going out and... Uh, you know, some there were some wrecks. You know, people, things exploding. They just sort of like yeah. <laughs> float it into the boxes, and they just connect. <laughs> Wait, is that possible? Could you just like? I'm gonna try that. No, with it's, a. it's it's if it's, you like, it's only gonna work with with cargo, but uh, you no, can with, with uh, like, a cargo, like the whole like, A is really good for pirating, for example. But like, if you say if there's like a bunch of like RMC boxes from salvaging and they're just floating there, and then you just you're piloting mm-hmm. your hull A with the the cargo grid out. If you just like side strafe into those boxes, would they connect to the cargo yeah. grid? Yeah, yeah, they should. Well, that'd be interesting with the hull C. Then, if you've got all those ones, you could instead of like tractor beaming them on one by one in space, you could just you know Tokyo yeah. drift and hit all those boxes and like. Technic, like theoretically, you'd be able to pick them up quicker than anything else. That'd be interesting. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if it does. That. That's why I told you that, like, uh, Hall E is currently really good for piracy, uh, not f- for being a pirate ship, but like using it once you want to loot somebody uh, and you mm. destroyed his ship. You like instead of trying to fit the boxes into a cutty, you can just like toss it at, at the Hall C and they're going to attach, and that's it. Oh, not the Hall C, the Hall E. I want to see that. I want to see. If someone's gotten really good at like Tokyo drifting, like 
to pick up boxes. Like, you know, there's like, because imagine if like some other pirates were like blasted someone and then you come in with your little hull A or whatever, who's not with either of them. And then just you sideswipe all the loot and then get out of there as fast <laughs> as possible. That would be sick. That would be a, f-ing, a YouTube short, mate. <laughs> that would be a YouTube <laughs> short. Uh, the Odyssey also needs a refinery, by the way. Let me just add that. Yep. Right. See, the Odyssey, this is one that I'm like actually excited for. Like, I wish the Odyssey was. Yeah, me too. Was happening. Like, a lot of people hate it. It looks amazing. Chips, but I love this one. It looks great. Like, this on the whole C, I reckon, I uh, like the best misc chips. I reckon mm-hmm. they just really have that sort of. I really dig the design of the Call A, by the way. Like, the interior I, and, and everything. I'm it's happy really good. with it, but I just think that the. Like, if you compare all the, like, freight ships and stuff, it's completely useless, mm-hmm. like, up against everything. Yes, yes, yes. But there's so many ships that do that and then have way more. Like, the Mercury Star Runner is just, like, kicks its ass. Yeah, so the Odyssey, that's a, that's a lot of stuff in the Odyssey. Like, mm-hmm. it does the, it's like, um, it does mining, it's like a character, refinery. Right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it really is. It's like, I've, I've, I actually have the TCU for like upgrading the character the Odyssey because I'm like, I love the character, mm. but the only thing that I would sort of replace it for would be the Odyssey, I reckon. I mean, if you get the Odyssey, if you use the TCU, you're still going to have the character. It's yeah, alone. exactly, exactly. It's got a loan for yeah. it, but you know, you know, when it was sometimes like owning like a, a, a thing in your hangar is more about like, you know, it's the role play of I have that ship. Mm-hmm. You know? And sometimes mm-hmm. a loner just doesn't feel like you have it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it is a, yeah, it is a unique, a large kind of unique art load. Like, they're definitely going to have to work on it. And remember as well, by this point, like, we're really getting into the, the area where this isn't about, like, oh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be soon that these come out. This is all just about the order of which they come out, you know? Like, we're not yeah. saying that these are going to come out in, you know, the next year or two or whatever, but, like, what's well, in the way sure. of things? Yeah, um, yeah uh, the Odyssey will need the tractor beams. It's going to need the refinery and... Other than that, I just, like, they just and need to start working other. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we already have ship hangers on the A90. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is supposed to be easier because there's no platform that, like, uh, goes upwards. No elevator. So, like, yeah, they just need the tractor beams and the refinery, basically. i tell you what, and as well, it. like, when they announce that this one is, like, on the roadmap... And they start sort of hyping it up more. People are gonna fucking lose their shit. Like people are gonna get yeah. so excited for this one. Like the Corsair coming out, like there was palpable excitement for that one. Though what this mm-hmm. one sort of means, I reckon, is is just I, I don't know. I reckon it would be huge. The Corsair was a disappointment, though. Like yes, it does have the firepower, but the interior was like, ah, whatever, dude. I feel bad. I melted my Corsair. Like I was a big, a big yeah. I'm gonna proponent. do it too. Um, I was a big proponent for it at the start. But then, like, I realized, like, like it's yes, it's got those great guns and they're all pilot controlled, and that's something like I really wanted, and I like the internals, the amount of space in it. But it's sort of mm-hmm. like if you can't kill what you're trying to kill on the first pass, then uh, you're fucked. Like, because a better pilot, yeah, even, like, unless a it's better a pilot, head. I'm serious. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because you know, you stay far away the entire time anyway. But like, I remember like multiple times I've gone against this like a gladius. And it, they know how to stay in your blind spot like a motherfucker. All the yeah. gla- Gladius pilots, the first thing they learned was where the blind spot of a, of a Corsair was. Were you and trying to PvP I, with the Corsair? I, I was trying to take, do like a bounty, right? A player bounty. Because I'm always terrible mm-hmm. at player bounties. And so I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the Corsair. I'm just going to like just jump some guy out of nowhere and just blast him with all these guns and like each time i tried it <laughs> they were just far too sneaky and they would always get behind me underneath it and just work that back shield down and i felt so shameful having to like <laughs> qt out of there every time but i've got these yeah. massive guns on it and everything and i was just like you know what of course it is i don't think it's yeah the me. connie the connie is just better like if you get the andromeda and you have the same amount of people yeah. inside of it and way you, better shielding. Like, the Merlin. Way uh, better shielding. Way uh, better yes, like HP but... on like the constellation series. 
Um, that, that's all gonna change, but like the the fact that you have the Merlin and the Merlin can o- always be in the blind spot of let's say a Corsair and yeah. just like keep the pressure on the shields so they they don't regenerate, like the Connie wins every mm-hmm. time. I mean, people were always saying when when the Corsair came out, everyone's like, "Well, now you've done this, the Constellation series needs an upgrade. They all needs this and needs this." I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, like, it does. It, they, like the Connie doesn't even have the uh, uh, the uh, like components. They're not physicalized it, inside. Yeah, but I mean, like, regardless of that, it's still an OP ship for like its price. Oh and yeah, range. oh yeah. I think people don't yeah, for sure. People often, I reckon, don't just fly a constellation like all the time, just because it's been around for ages. Like if, if yeah. like when it comes down to it, there's no reason to really fly anything other than the constellation Andromeda. You got so many missiles on that thing. You got so many different options for guns. It's like it's mm-hmm. so easy to get in and out of it. That like little airlock elevator that's like right behind the bridge is like super convenient. You can have like the there's just so much good stuff in it. But it's just been around for so long that I think people will just say eh, it's not as exciting. <laughs> yeah, but that um, but let me derail like, the engaged. conversation even Go more. For it for a second uh do you think the odyssey is actually going to be the character yeah why um because like the character has well it depends if the drones come online and okay yeah that's that's yeah okay the, and yeah, drones, i am, look, I am yeah. looking at odyssey in like what it's saying everything it's going to do where but the character doesn't have its full use yet either it depends what the drones are like to be honest um, I mean, they're going to be basically have. M- miniature uh, ships, and that's it. You're going to fly them like the, like well, you're using the um, turrets right now, like mm-hmm. the whatever they're called. External? No, it's not external. Whatever. I, I okay. Well, see, I just really it's like. like I really like wh- whichever one is better, nomadically, because that's sort of my thing. I like the concept of staying out and not having to go back. Oh, me too. For yeah. anything, I love that whole sort of concept for it, and the Odyssey, with the way it like, you know, it refines its own quantanium, and it has like, you know, a lot of the same things the character does, and it seems like the um, the hangar might be a bit better too. I think I was looking at it, and there's there's tech like technically, I was, I was looking at it in like the fleet viewer, you might be able to fit a Redeemer in the Odyssey's. <laughs> Hangar bay. I don't know if it's got the height for it. That. I've I've I looked yeah. the ta- from tail to from nuts to butts. It can uh, like lengthways kind of get in it, but I don't know if the height is going to get it. But I was looking at it going, oh man, if I can fit a redeemer in the back of an Odyssey, but what it can fit is a terrapin, and you can use a terrapin. Like uh, people are saying, like is, um, the Carrick is going to be better for exploring because it has like long range uh, scanning. Yeah, it's got scanning stuff, but we have no idea what that even is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the future. But um, yeah, so, so the Terrapin has the, the same scanners. And if you uh, pair it up with the Odyssey, that's going to be basically a Carrick killer, right? Mm. Well, imagine the Terrapin if we as like a. Of, like expo- exploration. Hmm? A, a Terrapin has like a, a upgraded Pisces is pretty out of control like that'd be pretty cool <laughs> like hostile yeah. going to hostile planets with a lot of armor on yeah hmm all right, all right. Raylan let's, let's keep moving yeah Raylan okay so this one I've got here purely like this far in just because it's such just a unique ship like even the the cargo pods for it they've been advertising as like ooh special little triangle cargo pods and, and the whole thing is see it in the game anytime soon yeah that's I would like exactly have it at the bottom of the li- of the list, honestly. Yeah, there's so much design shit going on with it, and uh, I think they kind of added it because it was like, yeah, we need something that's different and alien. And then once they added it, they're like, oh man, now we have to make something that's different and alien. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And it's just See, a freight they, ship. They... It's not even that much freight. So what's the point? Yeah, I, I think they uh, made the Raylan or uh, the concept for the Raylan back when they didn't really know what uh, one SU cargo box is going to be like. like yeah. Because they changed it like twice. Yeah. And I think they like made the um, concept back then and then uh, they like standardized the boxes and now you have the standard contain- container unit and it's square. And I, I'm guessing that like uh, John Crew is like, pissed off because they need to like fit the, the square boxes into triangles basically yeah or they're I, gonna I mean, figure something else out i don't know 
I think they kind of have to, really. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, no, you, sorry, you can't take this cargo. I mean, what's going to make it I unique? Mean, like, that's just it. 320 it has, ACUs, like, cool like that great. Inside. Yeah, like, I think it, everything's yeah. floating. All the chairs are floating. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so the Apollo? The weird one. Yeah, the Apollo, I'm excited for these ones. But I see, in my mind, I was really thinking that they can't release it without drones, but then you kind of said, like, well, they can release without drones. It just, but then they're really just making it another, like, you know, Cuddy Red or Medical Pisces. Yeah. But also, you are supposed to... Oh, well, now here's the question. If you look at, like, older uh, videos of um, John Crew talking about the Apollo, he says that... Because the Apollo um, initially was modular, right yeah yeah and yeah. you was you were supposed to like choose if you want to have three uh, tier three med, be, uh, med beds or you wanted to have two tier twos or a single uh tier one bed right and, and then they said that like marketing team is gonna figure out uh if they're gonna go down that path after they sold the concept etc so we don't really know what's gonna happen like if like <laughs> I mean, uh, if they come out with tier one beds, that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Because the, this game, if you have you ever played Planet Side? No. So okay, you're playing Rust. So uh, in Rust, I guess you can just make a bed close to whoever you want to raid, and uh, that's it. You can just spawn in that bed un until it's destroyed, right? Something yeah. like that. Okay, so currently, if we want to attack somebody or if we want to have like a, an org uh, fight, uh, let's say on Daymar, the only thing that we can use right now, the cheapest thing that we can use right now is a uh, Carrick. Carrick, yeah. And yeah. with the Apollo, it will be cheaper and it will be smaller. And especially with like attacking, uh, man, let's go even further in the, into the future uh, with the Endeavor and the, um, not, not the Endeavor, what's it called, the Pioneer, with the player Habs. Uh, you will have to have something that's small enough that you can hide behind rocks, but you can spawn in so you can attack uh, yeah. the enemy base. And, I and guess that will be it, the Apollo. It makes sense as well that if they were to deliver it without a lot of its main functionality, you know, a la uh, modularity and drones, making it a respawnable, smaller, affordable base like ship like that would be the trade-off that they would have to do you would have to do that there's no way they couldn't yeah make that the one thing I mean, that they do like everything is it's subject like, to change you never know like uh the, the cutting, from a marketing uh, point of view you know they yeah, did, but the, used the, to the have red the was ability. advertised uh, the, the the cutting red was uh, advertised to have uh our, like respawn capabilities and then they changed it. They mm. slowly turned uh, the, the, the narrative into like, no, it's going to have a tier two bed and that's it, or whatever. Uh, is it? A, no, it's a tier three. Uh, a tier yeah. three bed and that's it. Yeah. And uh, you can still find the brochure. And in the brochure, it says that like it's going to have a tier one or but, uh, not, but not that's a tier one, a tier because, two bed where you can respawn. That's because then when they had the Apollo Medvac, they needed to make there to be a difference yeah. between the two, which is why this exactly. one you think would have it. Because they're like, all right, we're going to lower the Cutlass series down to this lower class, and then we can sell them this like, mm -hmm. higher class one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But also, are they going to uh, get the Tier 2 or Tier 1 beds? What are they going to get? Like, are you going to be able to respawn in them? Yeah. Or is yeah, it just yeah, going to be... Yeah, uh, I reckon you'll have to respawn it. They'll have to. Either they're going to go with drones. Hopefully. Either they'll finally like start bringing out drones around this point, or at least you know these ones for it. Because my I, my my thinking for this one was the whole point of it was you know initially was like there are you know a portable hospital for the battlefield, and so you don't have to go out and EVA people into the ship. It's like the drones go out and get like identify people that are like floating yeah. and pull them back into the ship to be like worked on by like a staff. So if they can't have drones in that by that point, it has to have yeah like the T one or T two T one. Oh, I don't know. Either or, all, they're really the same at that point. As long as you can respawn in it, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, this is where all, all of these 
ships start moving into the oh <laughs> like they're all like capital and large <laughs> and stuff but yeah we've got the galaxy here this is the next one that i have in here because in my mind we've yeah got it's gonna the be a refinery up, like say if we had like the odyssey and that had some more refinery and then the expanse does refinery mm. so they've had that in my mind they would have gotten a bit of modularity done with the retaliator but you reckon that's different they would have had resource resource management sort of figured out for it that's why I'm like, all right, yeah. now they'd want to try and fit the galaxy in coming out, like right around this point. Before they start getting into like capital ships and the really other unique ones. Because I feel like this is one they want to get out. I mean, <sighs> uh, uh, w- once we get to the galaxy, they like will already have announced like 10 other ships, capital, <laughs> subcapital, et cetera. Mm, so th- this list is going to be bigger. By this point, this is Definitely. like three four years probably deep as well maybe know. like you know it's like so by this point you'd think that some of these things really would be in by then but i'm trying not to put a year on any of these ones and, and only go by order um you know based on what they're required to see how their thinking might be in this way because i think once we get into years mm-hmm. and like you know i think everyone's had enough of <laughs> getting hyped up for when when something might be coming out you know but looking at it purely from from like what is in the way i think is a healthier way of thinking about star citizen ships to be honest see I, I would say that the vulcan is going to come out before the galaxy because right, it's, it's a small ship it's like 150 bucks right something like that yeah my okay yeah the, the reason i thought that this was a thing like that it would be around here was because i reckon they'd put it off because we likely wouldn't need it until pyro and because it had drones in it as well in my mind they were like all right this is a ship it repairs so- it refuels it does all that stuff and so its use largely would be in another system but you just said that Galaxy is going to be released in 2025 and Vulcan is I didn't going to say be any year. after that. <laughs> Therefore, Pyro is going to be released in 2025. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, I, I think from what I can see, or it could be just like Hopium. I don't know. But there like, are a lot of things that I put here about like their use would only really be uh in another system like they shine when it comes to being yeah, in another I mean, system the hall C it's not really useful in this system in stanton at all like why would yeah. you need a hall C? like you go to to a station and you want to fill it up and there's like 12 su's that you can buy and that's it yeah. so it's like it's gonna take you a whole day just to like fill it up and to sell it it's stupid but um so this could be just hopium uh speaking for me but uh I see them focusing more on uh, the ship features like the repair, refuel. They already uh, released the refueling. Uh, we have the first instance of repairing, which I think that Vulcan is going to have. I don't, I don't see the Vulcan being like a real repair ship where you like have a part that uh, fell off, like a wing, and the Vulcan repairs the whole parts. I, I think the Crucible is going to have that. But we have the repair right now with the... Um, What's it called the, the the multi-tool? So if you if you go and um, scrape uh, hull scrape uh, uh, a ship and like you can apply that material to your ship, right? I so think that's what not what they're saying. I would say the Vulcan is going to be out before hmm? because I I'm yet to really look at what that hull scraping repair thing actually does for the ship because to my knowledge, it's just sort of like you know, replaces a bit of the hull, but doesn't actually repair it. Where in my mind, this is like, you know, the drones actually go out and actually repair it. Like, like if it was uh, like landed on a pad. But I don't know now. Maybe you're right. Well, we already had that, by the way. With what? Old stations. You, we, we had drones, like automated drones. Oh, yeah, that's they were right. Like... They used to come out as a part yeah. of an animation, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, you're going to use these drones to, to, to repair. But like... um. What I'm saying is that we already have the first iteration of repair uh, in the game, mm-hmm. and I see them applying that to because we already have refuel. I see them uh, applying that to drones, and the only thing that we would need would be drones, right? And you will like restock from a vulture or from whatever, or just go buy uh, uh, the RMC or whatever it's going to be called, 
and then you just like repair your ships. But that repair is not going to be a hundred percent repair. It's going to be like uh, if you lost the wing, you you lost the wing, and that, that's it. Yeah. Because the crucible is uh, supposed to like repair the ship, uh, but, like the station is. Right. right. Now. So it's like the Vulcan's repair would be like you know fix the Redeemer's tail wing so it doesn't fly like a limp bird and get back into battle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would say the crucible would be released like. Can I move the cross crucible? Uh, like yeah, I would sure. say, like if, if uh, you... after the spirits, I don't know how to do that. Honestly, uh, we we have to like oh, yeah. So I would say the uh, not not the crucible, Jesus, uh, the Vulcan. <laughs> Wrong thing. I would say oh, the yeah. Vulcan is gonna come out uh, before or after the spirits. Right. After, uh, let's say after the spirits. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, I, that makes sense to me. Because, like, in my mind, once again, like, I was thinking, like, oh, it's only real use that could be put into, like, a pyro thing. That's why I got that there. But you're right in that, no, we would, like, you know, for even, like, org battles and stuff, like, we could use that before yeah. pyro and, and all that. Um, all right. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. What, okay. What about the Polaris? This is one I'm interested yeah. in hearing what you think. Because, like, I like the Polaris. And with the, what they announced with, like, the new rework for it, I can't tell if that's them thinking that, all right, we're going to get working on this soon, or this is just an update to, you know, keep No, if shut you look up. at the progress tracker, it's only the, um, what's it called? The vehicle, con uh, vehicle concept team working on it. So we will need, you said repair, but uh, it's not going to need repair because you're going to use hand tools to repair inside the vehicle base. At least that's what they said. Is it? But you're not going to, yeah, unfortunately. But you're going to need. Let me just, you're going to need engineering. I put bounty in there because it's got a brig. They really pointed out that brig element to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So engineering, uh, I think we're going to get bounty uh, hunting version two, maybe even this year. And yeah, we're going but... to uh, use the, the Cuddy bl uh, blue now, and it's going to be Yeah, glorious. I've got a feeling this year, the main things that we're going to get are uh, tractor beams and bounty. Yeah, um, and and vehicle munching, and maybe a little bit more of the cargo refactor. I think yes, that's going to be a pretty. I much. don't see vehicle munching being in the game though. It's on it. They're they're like, saying that they're it, currently it is on the on progress tracker. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I've, but they were working on on salvage tier zero for like three I'm, years. It, yeah, it was I'm full. I'm full copium on the uh, the on salvaging gameplay. By the way, I, I'm currently working yeah, on making a, a salvaging org. That I've been, uh, I haven't, I haven't told anyone I that join. yet. <laughs> I, I just want to live on my reclaimer, dude. Like, that, yeah, like, I just love that. The reclaimer. It's been there for so long. Hopefully, that they're like, yeah, let's look, let's just get the reclaimer like kicking ass now. Hopefully, it's, it's that, the, that's what the best design of, of, of any ship in, in the game, honestly. And it's so not even like, wait, is it a Anvil or Aegis? Aegis. Ages, it, yeah. it doesn't look anything like an Aegis ship. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it has great. a call HP of, of, of a Cuddy, which is the <laughs> funniest thing. Yeah, I, I'm, like I'm it, super excited for it, actually. It has, like, a stupendous amount of guns. It has, like, two size fives and, like, I don't know, nine size threes. Mm. And then, like, it's huge and it's, and it's Aegis. And Aegis is, like, a war uh, machine, basically. And then it has like twenty five thousand HP. The way and the way the legs move and it's big spider oh, butt yeah. and everything. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know, I'm getting a, I'm getting a hard one. Yeah, but yeah, uh, the, like they had the legs like kind of like when they when it lands and like all those like legs kind of like all the joints sort of move into each other. There's such a great feeling of weight with it. Yeah, the first time I saw one land near me in game, I shat, I shat myself the first time one landed near me <laughs> like on an outpost. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, so good. back to the Polaris. Yeah. Uh, it will need uh, engineering to be a thing. Yeah. Uh, inside the ships. So yeah, resource management, but also it needs to go like a step up to engineering because you will need to have a guy in the torpedo bay because uh, I think he has like four torpedo tubes, and they will need to be manually loaded. That's the idea for like oh. um, multi crewing. Okay. So before that, I don't see it uh, being released. Well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily see them stopping it from coming out without it. Like that, you know, if they were going to cut some functionality, they could just say, yeah, it's just loaded like all the other missiles. 
Um, yeah, but what's the point? It's going to be OP. It's got, like we already have the uh, Retaliator, which is well, pretty. I mean, it's going to cost so much. It's going to cost so much to just fill it back up, you know. And that um, also comes yeah. into the whole capital. Okay, that's why. It, that's why also I reckon it's just one of the first kind of capital capital ships to come out because yeah it's going to be OP but whatever the first capital ship to come out comes out is going to be considered OP you know and it's not until we get other capital ships in there that and they there's like we've got the room to keep them spread out so they kind of you don't come across them very often and you know the price is really only affordable for big orgs and stuff that's when I think it's going to be balanced like they can the capital I would ships say the first by more capital come ships out before Really? Yeah. Well, it does have like the guns that we already have, basically. It has like okay. four size. What are those? Size seven? Yeah. I'll tell you the... what, these ones here, mm -hmm. this is why I like so wanted to have you on to do this as well, because I know that there's like heaps of stuff where they're like, all right, like Squadron 42, you know, this is, they've always said that this one's going to come out. The reason this isn't here because of this, it's going to be one of the last ones yeah. because of this, this, this. And I don't have all that info. And I, to be honest, I couldn't be asked looking it all up. So if you think that, go ahead and start, let's start moving them yeah. around, I reckon. Like, if All you right. reckon that's, right. that's true, move it around. So I would say that the Perseus may even come out before the Galaxy, honestly. Interesting. Because the Perseus only has, it's a gunship. Uh, it has, like, four uh, size, what are those, size sevens? It, uh, they're the same guns that we have on the Ion or the um, Inferno. Mm. So we already have that size of a gun, right? Right. And like the, the um, damage output and all that. So the only thing that it needs is like for it to be in the game, basically. Uh, it, uh, it doesn't have a hangar. It has a vehicle bay. And it, it, like it's a Ursa rover, I think, mm -hmm. from what I remember. And that's it. Like you would need resource management and you would need uh, two uh, guys on the turrets. And that's it in the pilot. Interesting. Right. So, yeah, en engineer uh, and three guys. All right, well, let's say the Spirit E1 here, I put this here because I reckon that all, like, passenger transport stuff is only going to come in once there's pyro. Once there's, like, and, like, yeah. everyone can get anywhere in Stanton. It's not a fucking issue, you know? And I think them releasing well, the Spirit E1 without it, like, it just being another, another luxury thing, I think would be dumb. Um, we already have uh passenger transport with the, like with the beacons right the passenger yeah. uh, the passenger transport is supposed to be for the npcs yeah. so before that they will need ship ma uh, meshes so uh you know that they just made the nav meshing for for uh npcs on the uh what's it called on the ground like around uh, uh, outposts and all that, so uh, they will need to have procedural meshing or mesh meshes or wh however you pronounce that uh, on the ships. And I know that they're going to work on it because they're working on it for the bounty hunting version too. Because you will right. be able to board, let's say, a hammerhead. Uh, the, instead of destroying it, you can board the hammerhead and get the guy out, or restrain him, or whatever, and lock him up and sell him uh, for money. So. Once they have a um, ship mesh or procedural ship meshing or whatever you, you want to call it, it's not like server meshing, it's, it's a completely different thing. It's like basically finding a path through uh, a ship. Uh, then we're going to get um, E1. The E1 yeah. and the, what, what, the Genesis Starliner. Genesis, yeah. Yeah, do you have it here? You know, yeah, it's yeah, been yeah. here for a bit. Yeah. See, you know what I always found really odd about... Star Citizen with a lot of this stuff, like there's a bunch of gameplay that they could have just sort of flubbed like they did with Cargo. Like in my mind, the bounty and the um the passenger transport and data running is all could run exactly the same as the cargo system. It's just you say, Oh, I'm here to collect the bounty, and then just all of a sudden your bounty pods in your cutty blue or whatever are filled with the human transports or whatever. Or if it's the data, it's like, yeah. I'm here to collect the data. All right, the data's in your computer. Just like any other resource would be in there. And like even for the data, you don't even really need anything. Uh, or like passenger transport, like, all right, we need passengers, and all of a sudden they're just sitting in like the chairs 
of your ship or whatever, and then you've just got to take them. That's to that the location. easy way out. That, I mean, I, that's the easy but, way out to at least get the gameplay loop in there, and then you can find out, like, you know, they could have tested all that time. We could have, like, you know, found out the, the prices of what this could be worth, what that would be worth, how fun this is, how fun that is, and then added more gameplay. In, and then, like, you know, like they did with the cargo refactor, then actually physicalize all that stuff once all these things come online. Yeah. I always found it surprising that they didn't do that. You are completely right and your video with the elevators and them uh being too e egotistical to uh make elevators like any other game does it like just teleport people around instead of uh, having a physical uh, physicalized elevator that's basically it, it they just want to do it their way they want to mm -hmm. invent like reinvent the, the wheel and some some like somehow Every time they do that, it's like they reinvent uh, the the wheel and it's a triangle, like and it doesn't work. So they need yeah. to reinvent it again un until they settle on something that we already have, because it's smart to have. Some things, of course, some things that they uh, reinvented are amazing, but yeah. also you can't do it for and you shouldn't do it for for everything. So, for example, on my uh, yesterday streams uh, stream, I was talking to a guy from Ubisoft, a, a developer uh, from Ubisoft. And he is a, a, a fan of Star Citizen. He is, like, um, on my channel, like, 24-7, basically. And he, like, he and I talked about why isn't, like, hull, a hull munching a thing already? Or why wouldn't it be a, a thing with the SRV, like, with the release of the SRV? So you would take the SRV, you, you would find a hull, like, let's say, a 300i, hull that you can already find or the avenger hull that you can find in the cruel one or whatever wh whoever exploded you can just take the hull take it to a station and drop it in, into like something that looks like a hangar it does have like i don't know grinders uh inside of it but the hangar closes you don't see what what happens inside it just despawns mm. the thing and you get the money and then we re realize that like it's too easy for for CAG and like they're just gonna they're gonna do something like that at one point, but it's not gonna be completely like that. It's gonna be more complicated, more complex, and it's gonna be buggy as hell. Mm. It's but weird. yeah, you're, you are completely right. I mean that. By the way, that elevator video, I got my most aggro responses from people oh, that was the, my first one where i really got essays from people yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you should get used to that honestly this yeah. one is probably gonna get, get the same thing it was because, my because most... you're having me on <laughs> it was my most topical video and yet it was on the lamest topic <laughs> elevators yeah but uh, like the thing is you're absolutely right about uh, the, the whole thing that big before i was not let's just put it that way all right, well, let's keep moving. Otherwise, we're right. gonna, never going to make it through this list. Uh, yeah. Well, we kind of did Crucible. Um, yeah, Crucible, it really needs a lot, and I, I would, like, set it even lower than this. I mean, at this point, Crucible we've got and the drones Orion. and repair, like, above it anyway. So, like, that technology by this point. There's also, like, you got to think that sometimes they're just going to, like, spread these out. Like, they're going to go, like, oh, hold yeah. on. Like, yeah, yeah. they're just going to... Yeah, but it's also uh, going to need like the, the crucible is supposed to repair uh, the whole ship. Like if yeah, you lost yeah. the wing, as it's yeah. said, so that's one, why actually. I think it's going to be yeah. I think it's going to be even lower. I mean, as in the like, Orion, like later we're not going to see it. earlier. You mean lower? Uh, um, later, later. Okay, okay, interesting. A lot later. Yeah, Orion. What were you saying about Orion? You're gonna, we're not going to see it for a while. Um, I mean, it's an end game ship. Well, that's to say, I reckon it's like. Go there's going to be some update when Pyro is like out and running and stuff, and they're going to be like, you know, they're going to have a whole new sort of class of asteroid kind of threat by this point, and that's when they're going to, yeah, really have it as a a big thing because I can see that being really exciting, you know. Yeah, um, uh, I added the asteroid munching because you would use the tractor beams to track the to, to like beam them into the uh, uh, whatever it's called. Know. The mantra. The, the 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 front, so it would just munch the asteroid. Yeah. And then you have refinery. It needs a refinery. It needs tractor beams. It needs yeah, resource management. Probably bit. some kind of engineering. Yeah. So mm. I don't know. I don't know. Like as I said, it's it's gonna be an endgame ship, and once you get it, 
I think that like this, the, 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 the Orion is the most pay to win thing that uh, exists, or maybe the only pay to win thing that, that exists in this game. Because 384 SUs of um, temporary cargo, basically, because mm. once you, uh, once you refine everything, you can just like dump it into a, uh, I don't know, a caterpillar, whatever. Mm. And stay there, and another caterpillar uh, comes along, takes the, the other load, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and you can make like billions in a day, mm. basically. So I don't see it j purely because of that, because like I think it's going to be five to six or six to eight. Uh, I forgot. Uh, um, people like players required to 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 run the ship mm -hmm. uh purely because of that i think it's going to be like later down the line uh but because that's like uh, that's like a lot of these ships down the line are all like capitals they're all ships that are going to require like large crews resource resource management you know and have all but that the liberator is not well. the legionnaire is not that's the hall is not those are the few ones that i'm like i've scattered around here because they can't just have capital come out capital 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 they're gonna announce other ships don't worry like uh, yeah. they are currently I'm working not. on four <laughs> concepts they're no like listen there's gonna be more yeah. concepts coming out so don't freak out <laughs> so they're let, let me tell you they are currently i'm searching for it on announced well, how do you, how do you spell that? Yes, but I can't find it. So I saw it, I did it for a video. So they're currently working on four uh, ships that are unannounced uh, or yeah. vehicles. Some of them are really like, they, they didn't need uh, a lot of time because they're probably either uh, variants or just like small, uh, like land vehicles. Mm. But also there is one that they worked on the whole year basically. And uh, the work is extending to like I don't know March, uh, July. So, uh, no, it's, I think it's like March or April, something like that. So mm -hmm. I think that it, that's gonna be another capital ship. Right. So they're gonna keep on announcing capital and sub capital ships, and of course they're gonna keep on announcing uh, smaller ships because that's like their main source of uh revenue yeah well i mean that's just it like when I, once i was looking at this i this whole thing like together i really thought there were far more small uh medium and large ships mm -hmm. and as i put this down i realized like holy shit, like there's not there's like a shit ton of capital ones and they definitely can't do them now like that means like all these ones kind of have to happen before they do all this stuff and so it's like mm -hmm. You know, and the amount of time that these are all supposed to be taking, it's really kind of eye-opening. Yeah. They I see the Liberator. Like, yeah. concept ships, because otherwise they would just be like one ship here or whatever. Like, I see the Liberator being released, like, around the Apollo, for example. Like, here. Mm. I mean, yeah, uh, I can see that Because now. we're going to need it for Pyro. Yeah. And it doesn't need to have anything, basically. It really doesn't. You're right. Uh, and getting... the only thing that it does, you can use it as a FOB, as a forward uh, operating base, and that's it. Yeah, so like getting other ships that people own into Pyro, like that sort also, of thing. Also, my, like my train of thought is I will use the Liberator. Uh, I, I have it. Uh, I will use the Liberator, like let's say go to Pyro and load up with the Vulture, um, a Prospector, and an Expanse. Mm -hmm. And just sit somewhere in an asteroid field, munch everything, uh, like go mining, refine everything in the refinery on the expanse, dump it on the uh, on the liberator, and you have like 400 SUs that's on the on the side. But if you don't use the um, vehicle bay, you can have like a thousand SUs, and you come back and you sell all of that, and you're gonna have you're gonna be a rich man. Yeah. So I see that f for that, and especially for like smaller orgs. But it doesn't really need anything. They just need to make it, basically. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. Um, hull D. Yeah, this I put here because I'm just like, all right, I need to spread these hulls around a little bit. <laughs> and once we get to there, we're into the the tens of thousands of uh, you know that cargo. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, all right. In my mind, that's why I put it after the Orion as well. Yeah. Um, cause with that level, it's like, that's like top tier, other than the Hull E. That's right, Hull E. 
Um, I mean, it's not gonna get really released go anywhere really anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. anytime soon. By this point, this is like way in the future. By this point, and that's yeah. why I reckon that these krakens and stuff are gonna be like you know once again like with Pyro, it's like you know keeping all these ships on it. Gonna have like stores and resource ma management. Oh, by the time we get the crack, like, and we're gonna have Nix and and the other systems. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. yeah. We're gonna be close into, you know, being yeah, Squadron Forty Two is likely like we'll have a date for that one. You know, by this point, it's it's gonna be like, uh, uh like two years out by then. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think the Genesis it. Starliner though is gonna be like released sooner. Yeah, like Did around the time of. I reckon they're bored by this. I reckon they're bored by the Genesis Starline. I know that they they go, all right, we don't have to do it because of passenger transport, but I reckon they're obviously like they're just bored of the idea. That's why they're like, all right, yeah, we don't need to think about it until Pyro. And so then they're just like, <laughs> but once they can do things like when they got server meshing and they got like other systems, they're going to be far more interested in doing all these like you know sexier ones that they can sell uh, than the Genesis Starliner. Yeah. Rip Jared. I I don't know. Like I I know for a fact that Jared's. Uh, tends to hype it up. Uh, it's yeah. his um, personal ship of choice. He loves it. And, like, as an inside man, uh, Jared being an inside man, maybe, like, he's going to push him to, like, release it with the E1. Maybe. Yeah. So you yeah, would have, yeah, like, an entrance true. ship they and a uh, Genesis Starliner, which is, like, a subcapital yeah, ship. They could make that, like, a whole update kind of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. the whole, like, travel... <laughs> Travel the system, Pyro now available. <laughs> Many choices yeah. of like, you know, and that that probably introduce you all the the luxury kind of gameplay. Luxury gameplay. Yeah. Luxury gameplay. Uh, <laughs> luxury loops. made with the most luxurious pixels. Oh. Um <laughs> <laughs> See, Kraken. Uh, oh yeah, Kraken. I, I think these is where it's getting difficult to figure things out. Um well, the things here that aren't capital, let's talk about these two ones first. So we've got the Nautilus and uh, the, is that Legion, Legionnaire, yeah. So the Nautilus yeah. with, like, the mine laying, I'm like, there's no way they're going to release that in Stanton. And they also need the drones and shit, right? So the this is for, like, mega, like, you want to protect a region of space. And the idea of being able to own a region of space is going to be when we're closer to, you know, more systems and, you know, player hubs and that sort of thing. Like thinking that this is our area, like, you know, our org protects this section of space or whatever. That's why I think it's like, you know, beyond pyro kind of gameplay, the mines. Otherwise people are just going to spam mines everywhere, you know? Well, I see people using like um, big orgs if they go for like a mining uh, op or a mining expedition. I see them using mines uh, around that place just to like feel more secure because those mines. Uh, I don't know if you if you know like how they're like gonna work. Uh, they're supposed to be magnetic, and yeah. like if you pass near them, they're gonna like attach to you and destroy yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I looked at the. But also for that, thing. yeah. But for that, they also need a system that's like uh, gonna integrate uh, um, to the mines. Mm. Not really AI, but like the mines need to uh, realize, oh, okay, that's a friendly. I'm not gonna attach to him. So they need to in uh, um, integrate the the what's it called the org system or whatever into the mines, right, basically. Right, or right. they 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 need to like be intertwined mm. uh, to a degree. So I don't know. Like mines are uh, easy to make. They already made bombs. We know that. Uh, they have bombs for like, uh, and we're probably gonna get that uh, this year. They have size three bombs, and they have uh, they're gonna be like we're gonna be using bombs on our uh, gladiuses, etc. So they're working on it, and I don't see why the mines would be any different. But once they start working on them, I think it's gonna take them like two years. Uh, so maybe like it's it's certainly gonna be released before the Kraken. Right and the Hall D and the Orion, like around the Crucible. Yeah, I'd say. yeah, Something no, like you're that. right, you're right, you're right. There's no way we would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true, true. Because the, that's the types of things that you would use as capital protection. You know, would be the first yeah. way to kind of yeah. soften like capitals kind of coming into your a space or something or alerting you. 
Yeah. So I think it's purely like that and the uh, the Legionnaire. In my mind, these are purely like they're going to release them based on the the need for the gameplay loop kind of thing and like how much space we will have to um sort of work with and what that kind of gameplay is going to look like that's why i think like shipboarding that's why i reckon it's like yeah like pirate once we're kind of out there and people have like no option to just qt to uh, a safe zone you know like yeah. you're out there in the middle of nowhere and then like you have like a big pirating op we like we're gonna get inside <laughs> that's where i feel like this sort of gameplay is going to come in like i don't know uh you're completely right but also uh what is stopping them from making it okay so we have hacking and we know that they're working on hacking for two years now but also the only thing that's stopping them is like shipboarding and they need to like I don't know convert all the ships. Uh, yeah, I to think be it's portable or to be yeah, dockable. I, I think that's it. I think there's there's a lot of other things that need to happen to other ships before they can get that working in particular. And that's why I think it's a it's a much bigger job than they and we think because uh, there's so, you so think many that other the, ships that need like work done on them to make them be able to be boarded. You know. Yeah, and that's why I'm really like baffled with the uh, Legionnaire because. I want to see it as a ship that's going to be in pretty soon because it's not really that hard to do, but it is, and it like, I mean, we could use um, it now for sure. Long, but... Yeah, it, it, like it, it's going to take him a long time to like uh, convert all the ships and like to to, to make mm. him all uh, dockable. But also, mm, I don't know. I'm I'm really like baffled with that. I mean, because I like, like it could be. I would, I would like if we could like yeah. use the hacking thing to like hack their sort of sensors so they can they like wouldn't see you sort of coming or something and then be able to board i can see that being a useful gameplay like thing adding before uh, like you're supposed to hack only the the docking port and that's it right they, they, they are gonna see you coming but um i don't know like the l- 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 legionnaire could turn into the apollo or what apollo was or is still because the apollo was on the progress track for like three times now Mm. Like they they were working on it and then they just dropped it. So yeah. I can just see it being so buggy. It could be the same thing. Mm? I can see it just being so buggy them working on it. I feel like they're afraid of the Legionnaire, let's put it that way. I feel like it's I mean they like, don't have hacking in place still. So and that's I, why, I still just I think like connecting one ship to like another ship and having those two entities floating seamlessly and it just not snapping immediately and all that is I think that is gonna with them for ages and like making sure that you're like characters the player can like move in between those two ships and that without you know the gravity freaking out and stuff i just think there's lots of weird elements going on together with them that is true with, like server meshing as well you know yeah. a lot of like it, with dynamic server meshing like each like ship is potentially supposed to kind of have its own you know um you know, computer power or sort of space yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So the idea of connecting those two yeah. things and having them interact, I feel like there's a lot of odd behind the scenes things that may or may, that just may or may not come up that they're probably going to put it all off for in my mind. Yeah. But like the sooner they, they do it, the sooner the, they can fix it. So I don't know. It's tough one. I really don't know. Like I'm, I'm really weirded out by the, by, by the uh, Legionnaire. Honestly, like that's I really don't I know where, where to put that's it. That's why I put it just so like, low. Yeah. because it's like I, we needed something in between these capital ships. <laughs> but also, it's not logical because they're working on hacking for like two years now. Uh, we mm. have ship docking with the Andromeda. Uh, yeah. We have the, a ship docking Genesis. with the or ship to station docking with the um, ship to ship A90 with, uh, and the Derek. Uh, the the refueling. The mm? We've got ship to ship with refueling with the Genesis. Yeah, but it's it, oh, no, Genesis, that one um, can snap. What's the name? Yeah. Uh, the What's Starfarer. Starfarer, yeah. The Starfarer, yeah. But I don't know. Like, ship docking works. We know that it works, but we don't have it on uh, most of the ships. We mm-hmm. only have it on the uh, Connie. Like, ship to ship docking, uh, we only have it uh, on the Connie. Ship to station docking, we only have it on the Hammerhead and the A90 Jump. And, like, if they have enough time to. Um, just enable docking on uh, all the ships, and then um, if they have enough time to integrate hacking, because the hacking minigame uh, is going to be like 
I, I, I don't know if you read out the, the whole um, brochure, but uh, the co-pilot and the engineer is going to be the hacker, basically. Mm. And uh, it's going to hack, uh, he's going to hack the uh, docking ports. But the guy, let's say you're docking a Carrick. The guy in the Carrick, if he has a co-pilot, he's going to have a minigame and like they're going to fight each other in the minigame, basically. <laughs> in a hacking uh, minigame. Cool. So that also will need to like work with server meshing. That also will need to work with uh, um, like servers at all uh, without lag. Etc. So I I have no clue where to put it. Honestly, look, okay, it's just like a weird one. Here's one thing: the the whole docking mechanic, the thing that's really holding that back, or what they need to get it working for, is when capitals really start coming out because you can't just you can't board anything. Like you can't land a a, a capital ship in a, a station or whatever. So you know you need to be the, for those they need to get docking to work in particular for it. So it's like really is yeah. something that's going to have to come out. They're going to really really get serious about docking once. They start, I think know, docking is going to come out with the merchantman. Yeah. Honestly, because the merchantman is uh, supposed to be uh, just that. Like, you're right. floating somewhere in space and ships dock to you and uh, they buy sh- uh, shit from you and right. go back into their ships and that's it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's assumed that EVA over, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and then what do you do with like forty SUs of of cargo <laughs> that you bought? <laughs> True. Hmm. Okay, well let's leave that there for now because that's just a fucking question mark. You know, it's a. It's I a mean, tough one. the merchant man is also a question mark. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. I guess the only reason that's so close up there is just because we know we've seen them working on it, and we know they've got a certain amount of it sort of done. You know. I would I would put it like lower than the Liberator, honestly, because they are going to be focusing on smaller ships, and Liberator is like I wouldn't put it before the Raylan, uh, though. barely a large ship. Hmm? I wouldn't put it lower than the Raylan, though, because the Raylan's like Raylan? Or the, Raylan? yeah, just above yeah. the Liberator, because that's once mm, again that's okay. all alien artwork that's not been done yeah, at that all. Yeah, I mean, All right, so what do we it, have now? Pioneer? There's, there's <laughs> obviously there. Yeah, let's get through these ones and then we'll make some big changes. Yeah, Pioneer. Right. Well, yeah, and that's, you know, this is one of them that's like, all right, this is either going to be, it can't be after the Endeavor. Yeah, well, I mean, it's about to be around the Endeavor or the Pioneer. Yeah. So we've got to be around that. So then these I ones mean, here. Player Haps. Yeah. I mean, for for player halves, it's, it's not just like making halves work, but you need to. Um, it's gotta have everything. Ma- yeah, but also you you will need to have like a way to claim the land, mm-hmm. and that like that's like a server thing that's gonna yeah, be in the cloud. It's gonna be like procedurally regenerated systems and stuff by them. What was? Uh, what do you mean? As in, like to be claiming land and everything. I'd imagine that they would probably have, you know, a lot of the, the, the systems that would mostly like procedurally generated would kind of be in by about then because you want to be able to um, you know, make sure people can really yes, kind of run but... off and be in the middle of nowhere to have their, their spot. They also said that they, they were also selling the, the uh, land claims. I don't know. Yeah, but they, they, yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> Then they stopped four hundred dollars or something like that, and they stopped. Yes, but yeah. some people bought it. So, Pioneer, yeah, for that you're gonna need like a whole system, like a server system, uh, to like. I don't know if you if you ever played Dual Universe or if you ever saw how it works. So in Dual Universe, you have it's basically like Star Citizen and Space Engineers combined. And then you like claim uh, a land, but like you get a land claim tool, and you need to find a land. You have a map. You, you go to a planet and you find the the land that is not claimed. You stick your um, flag into it, basically, mm-hmm. and then you claim like a hex. I don't know, a kilometer by a kilometer. Yeah. And I think it's gonna work in the same way, but for that you will need to have like a system, not just like. Um, the the design of the player halves and the tool that you're going to use 
uh, the raster that, that, that they're working on mm. uh, that you're going to use for uh, placing player halves, but like the, the whole system about like um, uh, the, um, defining whose land is that. So yeah, mm. that's why yeah. I put it like all the way down because I'm pretty sure we're going to get the Endeavor before that, honestly. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, what about these three here? Is this... The Idris? The Idris? Yeah, I added the Squadron 42 because that's what they said yeah. is going to be released with the Squadron 42. Yeah, um, that's the one thing I heard as well. And that's it. Like, I can't tell you any, anything more except that I heard Jared's uh, maybe a year ago in uh, Star Citizen Live uh, that he said, even if we could, and I'm trying to quote him, but I'm going to paraphrase him, uh, paraphrase him. So he said... Even if we could build an Idris now, there's no point. Mm. So basically what I heard there is that the Idris is not done. And then John Crew said that like uh, the Idris is ever changing because for some things in like Squadron 42, they need to like uh, extend it. They need to add stuff, etc. So it's not the same Idris that is in the game right now. Mm. So once they done, once they're done with like Swan Forty Two and implementing all the uh, Idris components for those levels, etc., and like then we're gonna see uh, the Idris in the game. I mean, but, like when's that? I have no idea. Yeah, and I mean, like this is so many years in the future, near the end of this point where these ones are anyway. But I just have no trust in Squadron Forty Two. Um, oh, me being either. out on any sort of. Scale I'm, I'm trying to be positive here and not like. Yeah, yeah, dark enough be... situation with my thoughts yeah, on, not, on the yeah. whole thing, but yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just it. We're not spending this entire time just talking about, you know, what we can't have. You know, that's why there's no years yeah. attached to any of these. We're talking about what what is, you know, possible, what is likely, and ways to think of things. Yeah, this is my, I think, to my yeah. mind, it's all about getting people's sort of, like, um, expectations in order and starting conversation without it just being, like, it's going to be, you know, when everyone was doing those videos, it's going to be 25 years until we get the this, that, and all that. Like, that's all just doom mm -hmm. stuff, you know? I mean, okay, so I was the first one that made that video. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it was, no, 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 it's fine. So uh, it was it was a funny video. So um, I took the uh, John Cruz saying that uh, it takes them 12 to eight. Uh, 12 to 18 months to make a large ship, a capital size ship or a large ship. And then after that, that team needs to work, like work on smaller ships just to chill and get uh, the, the capital shop, uh, ship out of their system, basically. Yeah. And I'm slurring because it's 4 a.m. But uh, then I just like took all the big ships and it, like, the list was like 21 ships or something like that. And I like just calculated and it was like... 30 something yeah. years it's, that it's going like to take him. Of course, it's not going to take him that long. At that point, after you did that, everyone yeah. posted yeah. a video on it. And it was no, all I, I, I made it about. like half a year prior to that. But, uh, but yeah, like, <laughs> so funny. people got pissed off, of course. But also, of course, and I said in the video, of course, it's not going to take him that long because they're going to have more teams. Like, the, the company is oh, getting yeah. uh, bigger and bigger. Yeah. But uh, it's going to take him a while. And it's going to take him like maybe yeah. even 10 years. Yeah. And the Javelin was sold in 2012. Yeah, and the Javelin, and this is like already. ridiculous. Like this one's, that's why this is here, because this is just huge and it's going to yeah. have so many unique things and you're going to have definitely have AI and it's going to need server meshing and this it's going to need everything at this point. And that's why yeah. I have to be here. I actually got, I, you know what? I actually got into the Javelin uh, during the Zenith threat mm -hmm. on the, uh, on the oh. PTU on 3.18. Okay. Because there's a, there's and a Javelin you saw there. What? Well, it, okay, because it wasn't like I, the whole Zenithret thing just wasn't working for me. I would go in there and mm -hmm. anything I tried to make happen was, was like a five minute delay. So I'm like, <laughs> I need to get out of here because as soon as I got into that cloud, it was just like lag city. So I got out and I went back. I'm like, all right, I can still move around like the javelin. Like, I'll just hang out here, you guys. And so I'm like, all right, I want to see if I can clip into the javelin. <laughs> so I spent the entire time just sort of bumping my head against it until like I finally hit against like the docking collar and I like clipped into it and I could already see that there was like nothing in there. <laughs> it was yeah. just like, you know, like it's an, an empty ship model thing. But I was like, oh, I'm in. But there were a few like elevators you... and I was trying to like clip through to get to an elevator to see if there was some sort of interactivity. But um, I ended up accidentally committing a war crime and getting put in Clasher. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
<laughs> did you did you do a, a, a javelin tour during Inv Invictus? No, no, year? no, no. I I wasn't playing properly about then. About ah, that point, okay. I was only jumping so, in to see if my computer could play it, and then it couldn't, so I would dip out. So they have some stuff uh, done in the javelin. Uh, it has like capitation area, uh, the cantina, mm -hmm. a few turrets, and that's it. Uh, like that's all that that they gave us basically. Mm. And it's it's a it's a weird it's one. Like I don't see it being released before like bigger systems like Pyro, Nix, uh, even Hades or Hate or whatever it's called, the one that that like Odin and all of those that are happening in like Quantum Forty Two. But also, mm. why would they release it? I know that it's like it's gonna. Um, appear in squadron 42 most of the uh gameplay is going to happen on the idris but some of it is going to happen on the javelin yeah but also that doesn't mean that they're going to finish the whole ship though so i yeah, don't know yeah i mean i feel like it it's, it's, I, th I feel like it's just going to be a massive load on the servers even with server meshing regardless oh so yeah i want to put it off for just the longest amount of time just because so many people all running around and it's doing gonna... something on there with their own inventories and everything. As soon as that comes into range of any other player, it's just gonna like drop performance. They're gonna put that one off as yeah. far down as possible. Yeah, it's gonna need dynamic server meshing for sure. Uh, both mm. the javelin and dangerous and the kraken. They're all gonna yeah. need oh, uh, yeah. dynamic yeah. server meshing. Kraken, like definitely as well, because there's just gonna be so many like custom things with that. Like so many other ships, sort of you know ships and ships and ships and you know inventory yeah. and all that stuff and people running around like in really dynamic weird ways that's just a lot to load yeah. yeah so all of those big ships are probably just gonna have to wait for dynamic server meshing yeah Honestly, this is where i got this because i got real stressed out coming up with stuff all of these ones here at this point i was like <sighs> so i said while well, i was doing this list i got really angry <laughs> at one point it was around here because yeah. like making up like oh it was tough at this by this point I would say, I would predict that maybe in five years from now, they might start working on those uh, ships. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But, I, like, I don't know why we wouldn't have dynamic server meshing in five years from now. Like, if they actually release... Oh, if they actually release uh, uh, Pyro and uh, the static yeah. server meshing, yeah. uh, it's not going to happen this year, but, like, it's not early happening. next year. It's not yeah, but this if year. it happens early next year or maybe even this year, mm. I'm just I, hoping. I, um, yeah, I really do think that Pez is going to take the majority of the year. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. That and like, what was it? like the replication layer needs to be like separated from from the servers. Well, but if that happens, why would they hand in hand? Yeah. Well, yeah, but like in the uh, chairman said, or Chris said that like they need to um, focus on uh, separating the replication layer from the servers and uh, just having it on the cloud. So it, it yeah. will work with server meshing, but that doesn't matter. Uh, th like my point is, if we get server meshing end of this year, begin of, uh, beginning of next year, I don't see why we wouldn't have dynamic server meshing in the next five years. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, look, it is a lot Taking different. into account the speed... Sorry, I just wanted to finish. Yeah. Uh, taking into account the, the speed of, like, the, 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 the development of this game, I see it in five years from the next year. So in six, year, uh, six years from now. And then maybe they're going to work on the big ships. Mm. Sorry, I, I, I just wanted to finish. No, no, no. Well, it's, what did it's... you want to say? That's a tough one. I mean, well, because with, with static server machine, that makes so much more sense in that they've got, like, set designs, like, you know, oh, from this space to this space, it's this server, and then we only need to, to watch yeah. the transition from here to here. But the idea of, like, these servers all moving and doing that, like, whoo, I'm just terrified of what the, mm -hmm. the PTU is going to be like for that, to be honest. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. I mean, if, if everything was on, pi on fire uh, in the Evocati, once like 318 route with BS, like this is gonna gonna be super mm. bad mm. once it drops, and the next few patches are gonna be really bad. But we're gonna stop talking about dates and years because it's gonna bum us out more. Yes, right. 
Back to these. <laughs> and so, all right. So we've gone through next these month. enough. I am here next month. Yeah. We've gone through these once. I can't, okay, it took us like almost two hours just to go through this. I was like, yeah, yeah I know. Half an hour. But half an hour, yeah, sure. Is there anything here that we've gone through immediately that you're like, okay, this definitely got to has to go back here or whatever? We look at these again. Um, these cart ones, I'm, I'm just so like, I just kept there because I'm like, well, there's nothing stopping them really, you know. I would put the retaliator base right next to the galaxy. Whenever that's gonna happen. The Odyssey, uh, it's not going to happen with the Liberator, but maybe, like, eh. after the Galaxy, I don't see it, like, being released. Like, why would it be released? So, around here, maybe? That would make That may be the Polaris. Yeah. Well, okay, it's because... It's a big it's, ship. It's, in my mind, it was because the Odyssey, yeah, it's a large, but it's not a capital, you know? That was my thinking. It is almost, it's the same size as the Polaris, it's like though. A, it's a character size. Well, I mean, the Polaris... No, it's not. It's a, that's a capital. It's like 155 meters. Uh, meters, uh, yeah. It, is, oh, it has it, uh, capital shields. It's, it's like a character size. What? I'm currently opening the uh, fleet viewer. <laughs> so... Odyssey was... I'm I mean, trying to. My spelling is amazing. I uh, yeah. See the Odyssey, like this, uh, the stuff that's in it really doesn't need. I guess. I guess there does need to be more large ships in between these capital ones, though. You know. Yeah. I, so, so the Carrick is 126 meters, and the Odyssey is 140 meters. Yeah. So it is a bit bigger, and I think it comes with a capital shield. I'm pretty yeah. sure it does. I really like the Odyssey. I think it's probably yeah, my hopium more exactly. than anything that wants it up higher. Yeah, I would like I would like place it here, dude. Like here, makes me give sad, me the SRB and then give me the Odyssey. But I would yeah. put it. Oh my god, that would be so good if they just worked on the Odyssey. Like, <laughs> that would be sick. It's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a good year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, the. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it there. The retaliator, I will put it right next to the ga galaxy. Or is it galaxy? So I'll the say, Odyssey maybe a bit later. And so you think the merchantman's going to go down? Because they're going to have, like, a key ship, you know, that every year, really. There's, we don't really have many key ships here that, like, like landmark here, ships. Maybe. Really? After the medvac? I mean, wait. So what? What? What were the key ships of last year or the year prior to that? I mean, it was like Corsair, really, and it was it. Um, yeah, but it wasn't like a huge ship. They yeah. didn't release a capital ship since, or a large ship since what was it? A ninety jump, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a yeah. That one came after the Carrick, so I think the Carrick uh, came uh, before the A ninety jump. I'm not sure on that because I, I wasn't playing back then. But I think the Carrick was like 2018 and I'm going to I'm going to google it. I guess what the whole say is pretty large. Oh no, it, it was February 2020 actually. Okay, oh. so the Carrick was the 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 last large ship that was released. Mm. So we really reckon that so I feel like the Polaris, the Merchantman are really quite low down here, and the Odyssey, like, they seem to be quite late in the... You reckon the Polaris is going to be after the Orion? I mean, whatever I reckon, none of that is going to happen in that order. It's like, <laughs> we can just back away. Well, no, I mean, like, the Polaris, I feel like when they were showing it, like, with the redesign of that, it made me feel like they were re-prioritizing it in a way. Like, uh, well, that's what they want you to think, but it's like, not. Yeah, like, true. go to the progress record, and you, you will see that only the uh, vehicle concept art team is working on it. I don't trust it. that progress tracker until after like Feb 8 when we get the the uh, the, the first big update. Because they like at the start okay, of every so year, what would be the purpose of the Polaris right now? Sell. Why would you need a Polaris right now? Because I, okay, I reckon it's I reckon it's a capital ship that doesn't have too 
much capital 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 ness needs in that they could probably fit it in without like server meshing if they really wanted to and they could get away with it because it could be like another 890 jump but it also needs functionality and torpedo bay and bounty hunting and resource engineering so engineering is resource management really like uh i'm not i wasn't talking about that i was talking about the next step after resource management so for uh uh for the torpedo bay, you will only have like four torpedo tubes and they will be empty once you fire and you will need the guy that's going to like fill them in with new torpedoes so you can fire again. So they're not going to be like reloading on their own. But And that's the main thing, like that's the main drawback uh, from the Polaris, uh, like compared to just, the that could just be a computer. for example. That could just be a computer and it says, and someone's just got to press a reload button at the computer station, you know? They just yes. play a large sound. Yes, but you know the CAG is going to do something different. <laughs> they're going to physicalize it. Complicated. Yeah. Yes. You're going to have to use a tractor beam or something like that. But mm. what I'm saying is I would see Perseus in the game before the Polaris. Yeah. It's because like, okay. the Polaris is a capital ship uh, killer and we currently have the a90 jump and maybe the address if, if it spawns. And right. what else is, is it going to kill? Like, it's pointless to be in the game. Like, why would, would it be in the game? I would love to have it, yeah. but, like, there's no point. The Perseus, on the other hand, it can cure, uh, kill a, a Hammerhead, for example. Right. It can also kill an address. That's why I see it, like, before the Polaris. Okay. Even though it was, like, announced after the Polaris. Well, okay. Well, what about these LTI tokens here? We're going to put these. We're going to separate also, these out also, 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 what, what, one more thing. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Just a second. Uh, what, one more thing. Perseus, you know, when, when they said that, like, once they do ships, uh, then they, they can reuse the assets for other ships. So Perseus could true. be that for the Polaris. True, yeah. true, true. Because it's more. Yeah. Okay. Mm, big brains. That makes sense. I reckon they yeah. probably work on those at the so, same time. To be honest now. I mean, I would love to, yeah. but nah, I, don't I reckon the G12 thing. is the last one out of these LTI tokens that they'll be working. Oh on. yeah, oh yeah. So I, let's say let's move the, this one to like. Um, so you have the X1. Let's That's going to happen. Like, this year. Med vet, like just for the distance, you know, just because I reckon it's going to be spread out a few. So I put G12 yeah. down near the Liberator, the X. And then the X one or the Ranger first. I reckon the X one's on the map at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the progress tracker. And the Lynx kind of is as well, yeah. Yeah, it is. So I see them be just because of them being on the progress tracker. I see them being released this year. Right. But next year we might get like the Ranger series, mm -hmm. and maybe the G twelve series. Mm -hmm. Like, in the meantime, they're going to announce something else, like a Crusader uh, land vehicle or whatever. We also need to ha uh, get a, a great cat. So we have the PTV, we have the STV, and they announced another one. I forgot the name. It's something TV. Um, MTV. MTV. Let's say it's MTV. Yo, yo MTV raps. So that one, yeah. Okay. I forgot the name. Well... My brain is pretty fried. It's like 35 degrees here. I've been sweating this whole time. My shirt has actually popped off during doing this. <laughs> and it's not for like nerdy reasons. It's not for sexy reasons. It's all the other reasons. It's for just the heat reasons. So calm down. Yeah, for the sweaty gamer but reasons. My, yeah, it's my, 4 a.m. here. My I'm, I'm brain fried has been... I don't, know, I don't know if I can do better at this point. Like, Yeah. And the, the Honestly, like, let, let me just take a look through it. Uh, Santa Kai, Spirit, Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan maybe after... Pff, fuck me, I don't fucking know. Vul Vulcan after he expands, for example. Valen. Um, uh, here, I don't know. Liberator, that, that, that's a strong maybe, a question mark. I'm going to have a question mark there. Um, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to put years. Raylan after the merchant man purely just because i don't think they're gonna get alien they're gonna start a different alien ships artwork like in between this i reckon they're just yeah, not could be like and like no one's no one's cruising for the Raylan, you know 
Yeah. This seems a bit... Um, okay, Spirits in the Genesis Starliner line, before the Odyssey. There we go. No. My Odyssey. <laughs> Once more. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. And then you have the big ship that are just like, oh, yeah, they're going to happen when they happen. Basically. Yeah. This is where it, it gets tough. But I do part. see the Odyssey being released first, like before everything else. Thank that, you. That's the only thing. <laughs> 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 I would say that's, the or, uh, the Orion is gonna go like it's just for me. <laughs> no, it's it's also for me because I have it. Oh, I, just, I have the I, loner Carrick. I just want to live in ships more. <laughs> Links. Right. Uh, the price fifty five. I'm gonna say fifty five. Oh, you called. I uh, it, I started. <laughs> I, I don't know what what the price is gonna be, but uh, I started like be uh, betting. In my community discord with people like whenever they're going to release something I'm, I'm just like starting a bet whoever wins like he's the winner and that's it uh, i would place maybe the apollo above the liberator and that's it but may oh no 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 yes uh, you can't the really move two there? things at the same time yeah they freak that's out the issue yeah and that will be it yeah that that's that's like the best I can do, honestly. Mm. All right. Well, uh, I I can see that you're not happy. No, no, no. This is like my ADHD meds have run out. My body has run mm. out. My soul <laughs> is depleted. Soul has left body, but I'm I'm trying to make sure that I've you know covered everything for this to uh, be content. You know, I think it has. Mm. And now you gotta edit the the video. Yeah, I mean, th yeah, it's or just actually gonna it be raw. a spreadsheet, but I'm not gonna go that raw. Look, there'll be a little bit of graphics. <laughs> All right, there'll, there'll there'll be. I'm gonna do like a massive just rip of uh, any other videos that CIG have put out <laughs> of these before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Grumpy, for being here for helping me. Thank you for calling me through the sad. No, it's not sad. It's this is through the hope, you know. Mm -hmm. This is hope. I'm just trying to phrase everything in a positive light. I mean, it is. This is yes. exciting, and like, there's there's plenty of interesting things here in this time. Like the expanse, we said, like the expanse is gonna be really interesting, or even just the ranges. Like when that comes to racing and stuff, the X one's gonna look great in my 400. I I'm excited. You know what what that amount of cargo brings like with the the whole sea is you know mm -hmm. we're gonna see that tokyo drifted gameplay after this video and it's gonna <laughs> completely it's gonna completely open up the possibilities in the verse i tell you what i'm gonna try and do an animation of the whole sea just like skidding into some boxes and like picking them up so people <laughs> so i inspire people of like the moves that they could pull <laughs> all right thanks once again <laughs> sure <laughs> you you gotta understand that, that you're gonna get a lot of flack because of this video ah uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, because like all... people don't really uh understand <laughs> how how all of this works and then they're gonna tell you that you don't understand how yeah. uh game development uh, works i'm fine with that though and if anyone that does have any other differing ideas please do let me know uh, or us know in the comments below. Try and be constructive in that, like, you know, give 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 reason for why you think certain things will be the way they are. And don't just call me a c Or hop onto my channel, Grumpy Eye, on YouTube, and call me a c Call him a c I'm fine thing. with that. Yeah, he's a c <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, okay. space. It's cold and it's lonely. But you don't need to be with Deadly the Merchandise. Merchandising. With Deadly the Merch, you can represent Star Citizen without looking like a dog. Merchandising. Everyone will think it's for some sick band and if they ask what Deadly the is, you can just say, you probably wouldn't know him. And they'll think you're sick. Merchandising. 
So grab your Dead Leader merch today and support your favorite content creator. Me, Dead Leader. Merchandising.